for the next 10 years, actually, China has planned 1.8 trillion yuan RMB for renewable energy uh, development. So I, I think this is probably, you know, the most the most uh, ambitious investment er, the uh, plan program for, for renewable energy, which will certainly help for climate financing worldwide. I think overall the challenge for China is whether or not you can balance this rapid and massive economic development and environmental protection, including climate protection. The economic development is really needed for addressing many of the economic and social issues. And as you know, there are still you know, millions, uh, tens of millions of people who live under the poverty and you have to grow the economy to meet the need for this poverty alleviation and eradication. On the other hand, you know, this economic development model relying the heavily on high input, high emission, low efficiency, and uh, low innovation in the techni te technological terms. I mean, this kind of a model has been going on for a few decades, and we have already seen the problem of this. So the, this is a uh, uh, this this is a major lesson uh, lesson learned, and uh, China now is trying hard to make a transformation, make a, a new model of economic development. The, whether or not we can succeed has huge implications for the, the, fu the, the future that the, uh, of China and also for the, the entire world because uh, the, the, the environmental problem and climate change problem is not limited to one nation, one region, it's, it's, it is global. So that, that is the, the key challenge that faces China and faces the entire world as I see it. I see two things. First, the government will continue to put more money, as a matter of fact, I would say more and more money into this area in order to encourage, to attract, to leverage the private sector to follow on in, in this area. Second, I think the government will come up, come up with even more encouraging policies to encourage the private sector to invest. I mean, th this is how the things work, right? The, uh, in order to have the real change on the ground, you need to have the technology. And in order to have the technology to be there, and you need the money. Right? The, in order to have the money to follow and you need to have the favorable policies so that the, 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 the investment, investors will see not only the, 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 the future return opportunities, but to, they can really feel you know, the, 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 there is a it's good pros, prospect you know, for, the, the, for financing the climate. So that chain, starting from policy, to finance, to technology, and to the real change. This, this is you know, how we see the, the thing work. So I see public, public funding and public policies are going to be more and more encouraging for the next five years and for the next 10 years, maybe even longer.